The sleek and stylish Tesla Model Y and Tesla Model 3 have a lot of hidden features that may not immediately be apparent to the casual observer. These hidden features will make you a Tesla master in no time. So if you want to get the most out of your Tesla Model Y or Model 3, make sure to stick around for this video and watch it till the end. First up, the Tesla Model Y is a feature called Bioweapon Defense Mode, which is designed to protect you and your passengers from harmful airborne pollutants and particles. When activated, this mode will use a car's medical grade HEPA air filter to purify the air inside the cabin, removing up to 99.97% of particles as small as 0.3 microns. This includes allergens, pollutants, and even bacteria and viruses. To activate bioweapon defense mode, simply press the button on the touchscreen display that looks like a biohazard symbol. This will activate the HEPA air filter and begin purifying the air inside the cabin. Bioweapon defense mode is a great feature to use in areas with high levels of air pollution or in situations where you may be exposed to harmful airborne particles. It can help to protect you and your passengers from the effects of these particles and ensure that the air inside your car is always clean and healthy. Next, let's talk about Live Sentry Mode. This feature allows you to view a live feed from your car's camera as well as in Sentry Mode. Sentry Mode is a security feature that monitors a surrounding area for potential threats. This can be useful for keeping an eye on your Tesla while it's parked, and you can access a live feed from your Tesla app on your smartphone. Live Sentry Mode on a Tesla is a really useful security feature. If it detects something suspicious, it will alert you and record a short video clip of the event. You can even view your interior with this feature. Now keep in mind, if you want to view live sentry mode from your smartphone, you do have to have a subscription to premium connectivity. This is only for live sentry mode. You do not need a subscription for just sentry mode to work, just to view it live. Overall, it can be a great way to keep an eye on your car while it's parked in a public place. One of the hidden features of the Tesla Model Y is the ability to adjust the height of the trunk. This is because the trunk lid extends beyond the body of the car, making it more susceptible to scratches when you open it in a tight area, especially in a garage. To avoid this issue, it's important to make use of the trunk height adjustment setting in a Tesla. This allows you to raise or lower the trunk lid to a height that is suitable for your needs, which can help prevent scratches and other damage. To set a height, simply adjust the trunk to your desired height and tap and hold the trunk button until you hear a beep. Now a custom height has been set and you can avoid the issue of potential scratches and make sure that your trunk lid and garage door operate smoothly. Now if you've accidentally opened your trunk and have gotten it scratched, I recommend slapping on a carbon fiber spoiler rather than paying it to get it fixed. I'll link a carbon fiber spoiler I recommend in the comments below. Another useful feature is a manual exit option. If your Tesla loses power, you can still exit the vehicle manually. However, be careful when using this option as it can lead to damaging your Tesla. The reason for that is because the window does not lower automatically like how it does when you click the exit button and you can potentially damage the trim or the glass. But if your car does not have power, this would be the only way to exit your vehicle. In the event of an emergency or if your Tesla has lost its power, it's crucial to know how to get out of your vehicle quickly and safely. Thankfully, Tesla has made it easy to manually exit your car in just a few simple steps. To use a manual exit option, you'll need to locate the small lever on the inside of the door panel. Once you've found it, pull the lever to release the lock mechanism and then push the door outward to open it. Now the fifth hidden feature is something that many people do not know about in the Tesla app. And this is quite possibly one of my favorite little tricks. It's adding a fifth icon to the quick control strip. By default, you're limited to only four quick control buttons. To add a fifth one, you need to tap and hold any of the existing icons. This will bring up all of the available quick controls. With your right thumb, pick up one of the available icons and drag it over the fourth icon, but do not release it. While keeping your right thumb held down, use the thumb on your left hand to drag any of the available icons to either the first or the second slot. The icon you have brought up will move off screen to the right into the invisible fifth spot. Release both fingers simultaneously and a fifth icon will magically appear. You can update the icon bar as often as needed without having to worry about losing the fifth icon. Another manual function is the manual charge port release. The manual charge port release is a hidden feature that allows you to release a charge port door in the case of a power outage or other malfunction that prevents the car from unlocking it automatically. To access it, pop open your trunk and go to the area where the charge port is. You'll see this hole with a strap in it and you simply pull the strap to open the charge port. It's important to note that the manual charge port release is a last resort option and should be used in the case of an emergency. In most cases, the car software should be able to unlock the charge port door automatically. If your car is bugging out, just simply reboot it and then reevaluate from there. However, it's always good to know this feature exists in the case of an unexpected power outage or other emergency situation where you can't access a charge port automatically. 
Speaking of rebooting your car, this next one has come in clutch many times for me. While it does not happen often, every now and then your Tesla could bug out and need a reboot. Maybe the touchscreen stops responding or a generic error code keeps popping up and won't clear. Situations like this mean you need to know how to reboot your Tesla. The first way to do this is to press and hold both scroll wheel buttons until you see the screen go black and the Tesla logo appear. You can actually perform this reboot while you're driving your Tesla, but it's not recommended since you don't see your speedometer and other important safety features. The next way to reboot your Tesla is by going in the settings. Tap on the controls, then safety, and then power off. The eighth hidden feature is a glove box pin. The glove box pin has a feature that allows you to add a four digit code to your glove box, making it more secure. To set up a glove box pin, just go to your controls, click on safety and security, and then navigate to the glove box pin. Follow the instructions to set a pin number. To remove a pin number, tap disable and enter your pin number. If you forget your glove box pin, you can reset it by entering your Tesla account credentials at the bottom of the glove box pin screen. While you're on autopilot, it can get a bit tedious to scroll one by one to get the right speed you want, or if you quickly need to increase or decrease your speed. Rolling the scroll wheel changes the set speed in one mile per hour increments. This next hidden trick solves that. Roll the right scroll wheel up quickly to increase or down quickly to decrease the set speed. Quickly rolling the scroll wheel changes the set speed to the closest 5 mile per hour increment. This makes it easier and safer for you don't have to constantly be peeking over at the screen to see what exact speed you're at each time you scroll. Speaking of autopilot tricks, this next one is to quickly set your autopilot speed. If you're going under the speed limit and you don't feel like scrolling to get your car up to speed, you can simply tap on the speed limit icon right next to your speedometer. Tapping on the speed limit icon can adjust the autopilot speed to match the speed limit that is recognized by the car's cameras. Okay, now this next one is something that I accidentally stumbled upon nearly a year after owning my white Model Y. But did you know the middle rear seat has a headrest that is adjustable? Simply pull on it to bring it up and it locks into place. When you're done with it, just press the release button and you can push it to go down. When I asked other Model Y owners about this, they did not know that this was even possible. Now obviously you know that the Model Y has a lot of space in the back. It can fit up to 7 passengers with an optional 3rd row, or 5 passengers with plenty of legroom and headroom. But did you know that you can adjust the angle of the rear seats to make them more comfortable? That's right, the Model Y's rear seats can be adjusted to 3 different positions. Upright, normal, and relaxed. You can change them by pulling on this latch. Then you can push or pull the seat back to adjust it to your desired angle. The seat will lock into place when you release the latch. This feature is great for long road trips or just chilling in your car. Or you can recline them slightly to have more support for your back. The rear visibility in a Model Y is often discussed especially since it has somewhat smaller side mirrors and a smaller rear view mirror. Now if you've ever driven a Model Y or any Tesla for that matter, you know that they have these side repeater cameras on the front fenders that give you a view of what's behind and beside the car. These cameras are mainly used for autopilot and sentry mode, but they have another function. They can show your blind spot on the center touchscreen when you activate the turn signal. This is a really handy feature because it gives you an extra layer of awareness and safety when changing lanes or making turns. You don't have to rely on just your side mirrors or your peripheral vision to check if anyone's in your blind spot. You can just glance at the screen to see a live feed of what's happening on either side of the car. To enable this feature, go to Controls, Autopilot, Automatic Blind Spot, and toggle it on. But the crazy part about this feature is that it was enabled with a software update, meaning the car got better over time. Another turn signal feature is something that was also recently added via a software update. And this one is by far one of my favorite new features in the Model Y. It's auto turn signals. This feature will automatically turn off the turn signals once you complete your lane change or your turn. You don't have to worry about canceling them manually anymore. Now obviously all cars cancel the turn signal once you have turned the wheel a certain amount. These auto turn signals simply turn off when you change your lane. To enable this feature, all you have to do is go to controls, lights, and toggle turn signals to auto cancel. This feature is based on Tesla Vision, which uses the vehicle's camera to detect when a turn is completed. Now if you've engaged your turn signal and need to disengage it, tapping it in the same direction will cancel it. I've seen some people complain about the turn signals where they tap in the opposite direction, which sometimes ends up putting the opposite turn signal on. But tapping in the same direction is the easiest way to disengage a turn signal, so you won't be playing a game of cat and mouse trying to cancel it out. Next, we have the e-brake. The e-brake is a feature available in most modern vehicles, including Teslas. It serves the same purpose as a traditional parking brake, which is to prevent the vehicle from rolling away when parked. However, the e-brake is operated electronically as opposed to a mechanical lever or pedal. In the case of Teslas, the e-brake button is located at the end of the right stock, where your gear shifter is. 
This may not be immediately obvious to someone who is used to the traditional mechanical levers or pedals, so it's important to locate it before you need to use it. To engage the e-brake, you simply press and hold the park button until the brake is engaged. To disengage it, you press the brake pedal and the e-brake will release automatically. Using the e-brake has some advantages over the traditional parking brakes. For one, it takes up less space in the cabin since it does not require a lever or a pedal. Additionally, it can be more precise and easier to use as you don't have to worry about over applying or under applying pressure. Finally, since the e-brake is electronic, it can be automatically engaged when your car is turned off or put into park, which can be a safety feature if you forget to engage it manually. The 17th feature is one of the more unique features of Tesla vehicles and is called Joe Mode. This feature was introduced in response to customer feedback as some Tesla owners had expressed concerns about the loudness of certain alerts in the car, such as a turn signal or the seatbelt chime, which could wake up sleeping passengers or startle nervous pets. Joe Mode is designed to address this issue by reducing the volume of certain car alerts. When Joe Mode is enabled, the alerts are still audible but at a lower volume, making them less likely to disturb anyone in the car. This feature can be particularly useful if you have a sleeping baby in the back seat or if you're traveling with a pet that is easily frightened by loud noises. To enable Joe Mode, go to the controls menu on your Tesla touchscreen, then select safety and security, and then from there you can toggle Joe Mode setting to on or off. Once it's enabled, you'll notice that certain alerts such as the turn signal, seatbelt chime, and door opening chime will be quieter than usual. You already know that tapping on the dashcam icon saves a recording of the most recent 10 minutes of footage. A lot of people do not know that you can enable a setting for it to save your dashcam footage when you honk your horn. To enable this setting, navigate to the controls, safety, and then dashcam area. Now, when you press on the horn, the dashcam saves a recording of the most recent 10 minutes of footage. This is extremely useful for a lot of instances. This next one is a cool feature that many people also don't know about. To toggle between battery percent and mileage range on your Tesla, you can either tap on the battery icon from your touchscreen or your Tesla app. This saves the extra steps of having to navigate to the settings to change between the percent and battery. Toggling between battery percent and mileage range can be useful for different reasons. Some drivers may prefer to see how much battery energy they have left as a percentage, while others may want to know how many miles they can go before they need to recharge. Not having traditional buttons or knobs can be tricky for some people, especially for controlling the climate control settings. If you want to minimize the number of taps you have to do on your screen for when you're turning off or on your system, you can simply tap here to turn it on. To quickly turn off the climate control system without having to open the screen, press and hold here to turn it off. Turning it off like this can save a few extra taps and help you keep your eyes on the road. Alternatively, you can use voice commands to tell it various things, from the exact temperature you want the cabin to be at, to the fan speed, to even the front defogger and rear defroster, and to even turning off the system entirely. All without having to even move your hands off the wheel, let alone your eyes. Did you know if you charge while your battery is still warm that you can charge up quicker? Especially when the weather is cold, it's ideal to start charging when you're done with your commute so that you not only save on the time it takes to charge your Tesla, but also how much it will cost you. This is key for supercharging, as supercharging is typically more expensive than charging at home. The trick here is to enter a supercharger's address in your Tesla, and it'll start heating up the battery so that by the time you reach the supercharger, you can charge up quicker. Even if you're not going to a supercharger, the trick is to still enter the address, and it'll still heat up the battery. In the wintertime when the battery is cold, it has more resistance and less capacity, which means it takes longer to charge and drains faster. By preheating the battery, you reduce the resistance and increase the capacity, which means you can charge faster and drive longer. The range of your Tesla is highly dependent on the types of tires you use, but it's important to keep in mind that changing them could throw off your car's range estimates. This is why it's crucial to reset the tire configuration and whenever you swap out your tires or install winter ones. To reset the tire configuration, simply navigate to Controls, Service, Wheel and Tire Configuration, Tires on your touchscreen panel. And finally, number 23, how to get more range out of your Tesla. I've made a handful of videos where I go in depth on how exactly to get more range out of your Tesla, and I'll link those videos below for you to check out. But briefly, some quick tips. Make sure you have inflated your tires to the recommended pressure, consider using chill mode, precondition your battery when it's cold, and consider having the aero cap covers on if your wheels come with them. These all incrementally save range and will add up from when you really need every bit of juice. I hope that you found these features useful and that it'll help you get even more out of your Tesla. Remember, these are just a few of the many hidden features that your Tesla has, so make sure to explore and discover all your car has to offer. If you enjoyed this video on the hidden features and tips and tricks, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already for more great content like this.
And if you have any tips and tricks of your own, let us know in the comments below. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.